For a long time, we've been locked onto the idea that to kill cancer cells, we must endure the killing of healthy, normal cells. Our current therapies are narrowly balanced between shrinking the tumor and killing the patient. This idea is ripe for change. At the University of Virginia, we've been working to identify new and better targets in the war on cancer. When they go awry, a wide variety of cancer cells associated with ovarian, uterine, lung, breast, pancreatic, and renal tumors begin to make proteins found exclusively in the egg. In this pair of microscopic images, we see an egg and the same oocyte stained for a membrane protein called SAS1B. The green immunofluorescent cap shows the location of the SAS1B protein on the egg's surface. In this image, we see uterine cancer cells stained in fluorescent green for the same SAS1B protein. The SAS1B protein is seen both inside and on the surfaces of the cancer cells. In this section of an ovary, note that only the large growing oocytes stain brown, indicating the presence of the SAS1B protein. The small quiescent eggs in the ovary and all the other cells are not stained since they do not make the SAS1B protein. Among all the organs in the adult body, this protein is found exclusively in the pool of growing eggs. And because SAS1B is also found on the surface of cancer cells, we can use this protein as a primary target to deliver drugs selectively into cancer cells. An antibody coupled to a drug or radioactive element provides the delivery weapon. This is what tumor cells look like after being targeted with an antibody drug to SAS1B. Note the moth-eaten appearance of the dying cells. This fundamental insight into the nature of cancer, that cancer cells are reverting back and taking on features of the egg, unlocks a path to a future where therapies selectively target tumor cells, opening opportunities to free ourselves from the indiscriminate effects of chemotherapy as we now know it. The SAS1B target is written in bright colors on the surface of cancer cells. Through this selective target, we're getting closer to a D-Day in the war on cancer.